If you're interested in working with metal, you might want to become a structural steel and plate fitter. This trade involves fabricating structural components for buildings, bridges, and other load carrying structures, as well as plates for tanks, boilers, pressure vessels, and similar products. We talked to a structural steel and plate fitter to learn more. I'm Gabriel DeVore, and I'm a structural steel and plate fitter, and I work for Supreme Steel. A structural steel and plate fitter is someone that takes uh, a fabricating drawing and produces it into a final product with raw material. As a fabricator, some of the products I end up producing are frames for buildings, air conditioning units, uh, beams and columns, which are the skeleton part of most structural steel buildings, uh, girts for bridges. Uh, one of my favorites is the actual pyramid on top of West Edmonton Mall, which was the frame I built. A uh, typical day, I'll walk in in the morning to a, a station where my tools are, and uh, I will uh, assess what the night shift did. I will go over to uh, another station which has uh, the drawings, and I'll try to find out which one is priority. And then I will take those drawings to my station, and from my station I'll also sort through the material and start fabricating, or at least taking measurements of the, or the beams. And then uh, from there I will find detail in the detail department, and then I'll start fabricating that. And then after I'm done fabricating one or two pieces, I will actually have somebody, another coworker, come over and check my work to make sure it's to what the specs are of the drawing. There are actually senior fabricators that are assigned for um, checking work, or we call them checkers. They have to be um, assigned by the company. They can't just, not everybody can just check your work. I started off as a laborer and I saw the, uh, the guys work in the industry. So I, had, I figured I had two choices to become a welder or a fitter, and I found a fitter was just more um, interesting to me, so I took that opportunity. The apprenticeship program starts off as uh, a 10-month um, on-site training, and then you go to two months of schooling. So it, it ends up as a year of work, but you do two months of schooling during that year of work. And then it, it turns out to be a three-year course, so you actually spend three years in the program. It's a journeyman certificate you end up with, and that's for structural steel plate fitting, as well as you have the opportunity to get your red seal, which is an inter-provincial uh, course, so I can work basically in any province of Canada. There are several opportunities for uh, plate fitters. Um, they can become foremans, as well as work for major uh, steel structure industries, and they also have the opportunity to start their own business in the structural steel industry as a result of fabricating. My duties as a structural steel plate fitter are to uh, interpret the drawings, um, produce what's asked of me on the drawings to three millimeter tolerance, as well as to see anything that the draftsman might have missed that, that might create trouble in the future when you're erecting the steel. Most of the time the environment I work in is uh, just an individual environment, but every now and then we get several big jobs where we have to work in groups of three or four, usually with a labor welder and another fitter, uh, just to produce larger frames. Some of the tools and equipment I use are a welding machine, a grinder, a cutting torch, um, hammers, drills. We're looking for a highly motivated person um, with, a, with a big expectation to do well in, in that trade. You know, um, structural steel is, is, you need to be pretty fit in this business. You know, it's a very demanding trade, you know, working in steel every day. So we would hope that person would have uh, high ambitions and like I say, uh, an expectation to succeed in, in what he's doing. What I think makes a good fitter is uh, someone who's very meticulous on details. Um, you have to be able to interpret what the other guy is trying to tell you. Um, you also have to be able to manipulate and work with the steel. I spend most of my day inside the shop during the day. Uh, every now and then they open the main doors to remove uh, large pieces of equipment or large uh, sums of material. Because of that, you have to wear uh, certain protective clothing like coveralls, usually with a pair of jeans or a sweatshirt underneath. The personal protective equipment you do need are a good pair of work boots, welding gloves, uh, glasses, earplugs, hard helmet, usually a leather apron or two. In this fabricating industry, uh, I work uh, five days a week, uh, eight-hour shifts, but there also is a night shift as well that does four shifts of 10 hours. Uh, so there is, a, there is an opportunity to do night shifts. The hours I work, uh, it also allows me to um, work with show dogs, training them on the side, 
as a hobby. The learning on the job, uh, especially in the first couple months of the apprenticeship, is huge. There's a lot of information you have to take in. You have to understand what you can and can't do with the steel. There's several different ways of working with the steel, as well as uh, there's also different levels of fabrication. One of the reasons why I actually joined the fabricating department versus the welding industry was because of the uh, ability for the fabricators to advance. Usually the older fabricators end up as um, lead hands or most of them are usually foremans and some of them even turn into managers. Uh, for someone just starting off in the industry, I would recommend that you talk to somebody in the industry, just get a taste of it. Even, even spend a day at the shop just talking to a couple different people. I think I've made the right career choice mainly because I quite enjoy building stuff with my hands as I did when I was younger and the finished product is always fun to see when you drive it down the road so I really quite enjoy it. To become a structural steel and plate fitter you will typically need three 12 month periods of apprenticeship including on the job training and technical training each year. If the trade of structural steel and plate fitter interests you there's more information available including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on Alice. You may also be interested in the related trades of boiler maker, iron worker, or welder. Learn more on the Alice website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca